Okay, welcome to the video on how to construct market segmentation trees and therefore how to quickly profile different segments. This template is available for free on the link below and basically it will allow you to construct segment trees and profiles very, very quickly. Okay, when you open it, you'll see this page, which is how to use. And there are five steps that you can have a look at. I'm simply going to walk through for you. Basically, we start with data entry. And we've got the steps repeated from before. But basically, you enter your variable. And I've, I've put some data in here already. But you can enter up to 50 variables. So all you do is you type in whatever the name of it is. So I put in brand preference. And then you would probably most likely paste your data there for consumers. So you're going to have market research data or customer database information. And that would just be pasted underneath. Now I'm using a 1 to 10 scale. Okay, you can use a 1 to 5, 1 to 7. Anything less than 1 to 10 will work. If you have more, then you have to rescale the data over here. So if you have something in a 1 to 15 basis, uh, you can just go there, it's very easy to use. And you put your data in there, and say so you had something was 15, that will come back to 10 in the 1 to 10 basis. So you put your data in, and then copy the adjusted data across. But if you have something that is 1 to 5, 1 to 7, it can go straight in here. Okay, I'm using 1 to 10, the spreadsheet's designed around that. So basically, I've got the data there. And what I want to do now is construct a, a branch of the tree. So I'm go, I want to look at people who have a high level of awareness and consumers that also have a high level of value. So what I've done, I've got the filters there already. So I just go on, click that little triangle. And I want to not select all, but I'll one, two, three, and four, five, I'll do five out of 10, would be consumers that have a higher level of awareness. Okay, so what will happen, you can see these numbers here are only one to five. Everything else is kept the same. And what it's done is taken out the consumers who have a low level of awareness. So you can see these were numbers from one to 10 before, and I have now less consumers. So I've constructed a segment, that's just the end of it. I've constructed a segment that has less consumers in it. Now I want to also look at the second part of my segmentation here is high levels of value. So again, I don't want everybody, but I'm going to pick the, the top half again. I don't have, it doesn't have to be a half, it can be just one of them. Uh, and now, again, for this one, value to the business, I'm only looking at consumers that are basically in the top half. So what I have now is a subset. I have my segment. So once I've done that, I'm just going to copy and paste this data, and everything else magically happens for me. So copy. Okay, so you can see the little green lines, which indicate that there is data there, which is a full market, but I don't want that. So all I do now is go to segment data. Sorry, and I basically, uh, it's picked up the headings from before, and I just paste the data. And I'm done. So basically, uh, the spreadsheet now works out my segment profile. So I come over here, and it's picked up the variables, okay, from before. And basically, it works out how many people. So you can see there, I have, there's 28 people. 28 people sit in that segment. Okay, and I come down here, and this is my segment profile. This is just the count, the number of people. And here is the percentage. So of people who are, as you can see, high awareness, high value. So there's zeros down here because they're not in my segment not interested in them. I can then have a look at what these people look like. Okay, So I, this is just dummy data just to have a look at. But basically you can see that uh, 
it's coded, so red's meaning quite low. Um, we've got some higher numbers here in the green, which is obviously part of our segment. But we've also got some other areas where we jump out. Okay, so there a quarter of them are in a particular location or geographic area. 20% of them are a particular income, 25% there. So straight away I can profile this segment of high awareness, high value, and say, hey, that's what they look like. Okay, so that's my segment profile, done automatically. If I wanted to have a look at how they compare to the market, the spreadsheet works that out automatically. So I click on this one here. How does the segment, high awareness, high value, differ from the overall market? So again, it's color coded for me. If I've got no data, it, it doesn't show me anything. Obviously, this is awareness and uh, value. Actually, I've got it down here. Awareness and value. Uh, basically, we can see that those are taken out, those are taken out, so that's below, everything else is above. But I also can see, gee, you know, they're more likely to be in these locations, less likely to be there. They're more less likely to be that age group, more likely to be in that age group. So I've got a comparison, okay? And all I do now is just simply repeat the process. I come back to the data and say, okay, that was interesting. Um, let's put everybody back in. Okay, so the next segmentation aspect of my tree I want to look at is I want to look at low awareness. Okay, and high value. Okay, so this would be a, a different approach. I then get different consumers here because it's a different segment and I simply do the same thing again. I just very quickly copy, come over here to the data. Now I've got to make sure I get rid of everything. Okay, so I'm going to come down here to it's covered. Okay, and I've got some lines that are there. You can see from the previous segment and I will just take them out. Okay, and I come, and now I have a total of 24 people there, 24 people, so a quarter of the of my uh, market. And as you can see, I've got high awareness, so low awareness scores here coming up high, and those people there. So I've got a different segment profile from before, and my comparisons are different. So that's all we do we go through, it's probably going to be safer if you're going to do a new segment to take that out and go, okay, what do I want to look at now? And you can look at uh, whatever, whatever segments you like. So you go through, split it up, what income groups do I use, what age groups do I use. You don't need to include them all in your segmentation tree. I'm just going to undo so the data's back in there but you can include them all in your profile. So for example, we haven't segmented at all on loyalty, but I can include it in my profile and I can include how it differs. So there's loyalty there, as you can see. Um, and that's simply it. So for more information, simply go to the Market Segmentation Study Guide and good luck. Any questions, just email me.